Okay, guys. So, there are four stages of development for um, trypanosoma stages. So, the amastigote, promastigote, epimastigote, and the trypomastigote. Okay, so as you can see, the amastigote, this is the simplest one. Again, the, the easiest to identify because it does not have, aside from its um, its shape that is different from the tree, it does not have the flagella. Okay? So, that is the amastigote. And this is the stage that divides. The amastigote is the stage that uh, goes through the process of binary fission to multiply. So, the promastigote, as you can see, it does not have the undulating membrane. Okay? So, it does not have the undulating membrane yet. And the kinetoplast, okay, that is near the um, anterior part, okay? sa pinakataas na part, malapit siya sa flagella. Because that is always its location. Kumbaga, that is um, always near the flagella. Okay? So, just like here. But unlike here, okay, unlike the epimastigote and the trypomastigote, that is near the anterior part of the parasite. On the um, epimastigote, so the kinetoplast and the flagella are near the nucleus. Okay? So, that's the way uh, to identify if that is epimastigote. Malapit sila dun sa nucleus. And it has a presence of indulating membrane. Okay? That is small. Okay? That is short relative to the undulating membrane that is present in the trypomastigote. So, um, the trypomastigote is also easy to identify because as you can see here, the kinetoplast is found on the posterior end. Okay? So, sa my posterior end, sa pinakamababa, okay? And it has a very long undulating membrane. Siya yung may pinakamahabang undulating membrane. Okay? So, madali lang namang i-identify yung stages of development. So, trypomastigote, no replicative form, uh, non-replicated form, it does not divide under the trypomastigote stage. It is a leaf-like form with undulating membrane and flagellum that emerges through a flagellar pocket and runs the full length of the body. Okay, kumbaga, the flagella runs throughout the um, whole body of the parasite. The epimastigote, a flagellum is found anterior of nucleus. Okay, so this one, the epimastigote, anterior of the nucleus, not attached to the cell body that is present in the insect vector. See, epimastigote that is present in the insect vector. Okay, the promastigote is a motile elongated extracellular form that is characterized by a single anterior flagellum that does not have yet the undulating membrane. So this one, that is a promastigote, there, no, there is no undulating membrane yet. And for the amastigote, short or no flagellum, that is the intracellular form in the mammalian cells. Okay, so that is a cell that is found inside the cell, the epimastigote. So... We go to the cause of the Chagas disease or the New World Trypanosomiasis. So that is the agent for Chagas disease or American Trypanosomiasis. An intracellular parasite, the trypomastigote is found in the bloodstream, which is a long, slender, and short, stumpy forms. In long, slender, or either the short, stumpy forms, so its undulating membrane is narrow, the runs two-third okay, of the body that is Staying characteristically C-shaped, sometimes U-shaped or S-shaped. Ano yung sinasabi naman na C-shaped or S-shaped? Wait, let's just check for this one. So, that way, that is the C-shape. Okay? So, that is for the trypanosoma cruzi. Okay, the amastigote. So, the amastigote that is found in tissue cells. Okay, that is found in the tissue cells. The trypomastigote that is found sa iron in the circulatory system sa blood. Si epimastigote nakikita siya sa tissue cells. Okay? So, um, another way to remember that is take note that trypomastigote has flagellum. And what is the purpose of flagellum? Okay? So, the purpose of this is for swimming, right? For movement. Okay? So, um, the, the stage which has the flagellum or which has the um what do you call this one? the part that helps this parasite swim is found in the blood kasi kailangan nilang lumangoy sa dugo diba because that is in fluid form 
Okay? So, they use the flagella to move. So, the trypomastigote is found in the bloodstream. The amastigote is found in the tissues. Okay? Do not forget that. Usually found in small groups of cysts like collections in tissues. So, those are the amastigote. Okay? Yung mga yan. So, those are the amastigote. Uh, bilog. Mga uh, bilog-bilog. So, those are the amastigote. So, morphology. Trypomastigote in blood of humans and gut. Resemble African trypanosomes except... Sometimes it is C or S shape, called spicus kinetoplast, long and short forms may occur. So the amastigotes, those are found in the cells. That's why that is the intracellular form. Okay. Um, the for African trypanosomiasis or for the trypanosoma brucei, you cannot identify the amastigote. You cannot differentiate them. Okay. So promastigotes in the gut of insect, and that is the transitional stage in the humans. So, we have here the life cycle. So, how does human contract the American trypanosomiasis or the Chagas disease? So, uh, this is different from the other parasite. Okay? Just like for plasmodium, plas um, plasmodium species, diba? they need to take a blood meal so that they can inject the parasite. However, here it's different. Okay? Bakit kakaiba si trypanosoma cruzi? Kasi kailangan nilang tumae. Okay? So they will take a um they will take a blood meal. Okay? So susubsub sila ng dugo, magba blood meal sila, mga bastos, tataae pa sila. Okay? So tatae sila sa skin. Okay? So kakain tatae. Therefore guys, the parasite is not present on their saliva, but instead the parasite is present on their feces. Okay? Ito yung mga bastos. Ito yung mga bastos na vector. Okay? Why? Kasi kakain na nga lang sila, they will take a blood meal, tatae pa sila. Okay? So, metacystic triposomes in bug feces deposited in the skin. So, ma'am, iba naman yung site ng pinagtaean as compared sa site kung saan sila kumain. But guys, take note when insects, okay, when insects take a blood meal on the skin, what do we do? Okay, we scratch it. So, in that way, the feces is rubbed into the bite puncture abrasion. Okay? Or possible din sa conjunctiva. Okay? Sa conjunct Pag sa conjunctiva sila kumagat, dun sila tatae, dun may scratch, dun papasok. Okay? So, yung parasite, the parasite is present in the feces. And when you rub, okay, when you rub the site where the parasite took a blood meal because that is itchy, okay, you are introducing already the feces into the puncture site, causing the trypanosomes, okay, or causing, yes, the trypanosomes, the metacyclic trypanosome, to enter in the skin area, okay? So, yun yung kakaiba kay Cruzy, kaya madali siyang tandaan. Sa trypanosoma Cruzy, dito yung mga vector na bastos, okay? Kasi kakain sila, tatae sila. And the source of the uh, parasite is in the feces, okay? So, when the trypanosomes, the, tri tri the trypomastigotes enter into the site of, uh, into the puncture site, they will change their form into a mastigote, okay? Magiging a mastigote na sila. And from that time on, okay, so they multiply through binary fission. This is also the way um, bacteria multiply. Diba? Bakit sila mabilis dumami? Because of the binary fission type of multiplication. Okay? So, they are carried to regional lymph nodes. Okay? And then, they further multiply. Multiply sila ng multiply. So, some amastigotes enter further cells. Okay? They enter other type of cells like the liver. Okay? Causing hepatomegaly. Okay? Or other lymph nodes. Mas common sa lymph nodes kapag si Cruzy. Okay, causing lymphadenopathy or the enlargement of the lymph nodes. So, and then parasitized cells rupture. Or other way that they do is that they metamorphose, they change their form, okay? So, into the promastigote and then to the amastigote, okay? So, into the, uh, sorry, from amastigote to promastigote and then finally to tripomastigote. Okay, so this one, pro, this is the epi. Tama, diba? This is the promastigote, 
this 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 is the epimastic goat and then the tripomastic goat okay so the tripomastic goat um they go into the bloodstream and this the, this stage of the parasite does not divide. Okay, so the enter cells of many organs, they metamorphose to a mastigote and multiply. When they are in the bloodstream, they are in tripomastigote stage. Pero kapag lumipat sila ang other tissues, they metamorphose to become the amastigote. So this is another way of representation for the life cycle of the uh, American uh, trypanosomiasis or the trypanosoma cruzi. So, again, tratomin bug, okay? So, the tratomin bug, this is also known as the kissing bug, okay? It takes a blood meal, passes metacyclic tripomasticote in feces, tripomasticote enter by wound or mucosal membrane, such as the conjunctiva when the person uh, scratch it or grab it, okay? Metacyclic triposomes penetrate various cells and bite wound, so they transform to a mastigote. So, a mastigote will have binary fission to multiply. Okay? So, aside from that, they can infect other. They will change their form into tripomastigote, the amastigote. So, they can, they can invade other part of the body. Okay? Or it can travel into the blood vessel. So, when that is in the blood vessel, it can, yun nga, it can travel to the different sites and then metamorphose to become the amastigote okay so how about if um how does the kissing bugs or the common bug uh how are they infected okay paano naman sila na infect when they take a blood meal in an infected person they can get okay they can get the tripomastigote so tritomin bug takes a blood meal okay tripomastigote ingested Okay, it will metamorphose to epimastigote in the mid-gut. It will multiply in the mid-gut. Okay, and when they take another blood meal, they defecate in the skin and the source of the infection is in the skin. Okay, so kapag yung skin napunta dun sa bite site or the puncture site, dun na pwede may infect yung other individual. So I hope guys that that is clear. Okay, so common tratomin vector species for trypanosomiasis belong to tratoma, rodnus, and panstrongulus. So inside the host, the tripomastigote invade cells near the site of the inoculation where they differentiate into a mastigote. So I already explained this one. So the Chagas disease that is also called the American trypanosomiasis. So that is the disease. Okay, kung bagayan yung sakit na sinokos ni trypanosoma cruzi. A tropical parasitic disease caused by flagellate protozoan, trypanosoma cruzi. So, clinical presentation. Acute illness develops uh, in more than or equal to one week after exposure. This is known as the Romana sign. So, a chagoma indurated swelling may develop the site of inflammation, infection such as the Romana sign. So, edema of the eyelid on the ocular tissue. Okay, so that is the Romana sign. So, in chronic chagas, uh, it affects the heart. There are conduction system abnormalities, ventricular arrhythmias, and in late stage, con congestive cardiomyopathy. So, major disease, uh, major disease manifestation of the chagas disease, fever, large spleen, and the liver. Okay? So, magkakaroon ng splenomegaly, magkakaroon din ng hepatomegaly. Chronic damage to heart and elementary tract. So, that is already in the chronic stage. Okay? So, rom Romana sign, nakikita yan sa Chagas disease. Unilateral, painless, periorbital swelling. What do you mean by unilateral? Okay? It's not symmetrical. Okay? Sa so one side lang siya ng body nag-appear. Okay, diagnosis, trypanosoma cruzi in the blood smear. So, as you can see, we have here trypanosomes. Tripomastigold stage, I should say. So, Serology, so uh, they can use serology to diagnose this uh, infection. PCR to determine the strain of the parasite. Um, when biopsy is performed, okay, they will get tissue samples. They will, they, uh, they should expect amastigotes, okay? Kasi tissue yung sample mo. If that is in the blood, if that if, if 
example is the blood, definitely, they will see, try po mastigot. Pero kapag tissues, a mastigot. Okay? Hematoxylin na eosin or gem sa stain sa tissues. The vector, that is the blood-sucking insects of the subfamily, tretomine. So, tretoma bug, rodnus, pan, strontulus. So, here. Okay? And they like to take a blood meal during uh, the night. So, mga tridor sila. Acute stage. Diagnosis may be made in finding of tripomastigote in circulating blood or possible to CSF. Chronic stage. Tripomastigotes are usually not found. Circulating in blood and serologic testing is already recommended. So, kapag matagal na yung infection, nawawala na yung tripomastigote. Okay? Sa mga body fluids. Instead, nire-recommend na ang serology. Okay? Serologic test. So, Chagas disease, type of Rodivide rodiv bug, okay, that is other, a uh, common name nila yung kissing bug, okay. So, typically bites people in the face as they sleep sa gabi. Lalo na pag sa conjunctiva, so, periorbital swelling may, uh, may happen, that is known as the Romana sign. So, transmission at retomin bug becomes infected. Hides during day, emerges at night, bites, feeds, then defe defecates. Okay? So, prevention. Most effective approach, insecticide, that is to kill the tratomin bug. Improving housing condition, testing of blood donors, and there is no vaccine available uh, for this. Okay? Available uh, to combat the disinfection, this parasite. Actually, there are no vaccines against parasitic infection, di ba? Wala namang vaccine para sa parasitic infection. Wala. Wala naman. Well, even in our country, walang na-administer. I don't know in other countries if they administer vaccine for parasitic infection. Typically, through feces, yun nga mode of transmission, an infected retoming insect or the bead or kissing bug. So, infection occur when the bug bite is when the when a bug bite is scratched by consuming food, okay, so when a bug bite is scratched and when the feces gets in contact with the puncture site or the bite site. Another is by consuming food or, or beverages contaminated with infected bug feces. So, pwede din pala ang ingestion of contaminated food and water or beverages. Okay, as long as that is infected with bug feces. They may also be transmitted through blood transfusion. Why? Because of the tripomastigote stage that is seen in the blood. Organ transplantation, okay, the amastigote, okay, present in tissues. Congenital transmission, okay, so it can be passed from the mother to fetus. For breastfeeding, guys, okay, there are, um, there's a very low or there are no recorded cases. So let's just remove this one. Because according to CDC, there are no recorded infection yet through breastfeeding. Okay? Transmission. So, we're done with this one. So, we proceed with Trypanosoma bruzi. So, Trypanosoma bruzi gambiense, that is the West African Trypanosomiasis. Mm. Okay? Or the West African Sleeping Sickness. Okay? Trypanosoma bruzi rhodesiense, East African Trypanosomiasis. East African Sleeping Sickness. Okay? So, I, uh, I, I thought again of another way for you to remember this one. Paano mo maaalala na si West African, si Gambiense, and East African, Trypanosomiasis, si Rhodesense. Okay? Eo, char, <laughs> ang corny, no? Eo, Rode, okay? Or Rudy, Eo, Rode, bought gum at West. Okay? So, Eo, Rudy bought gum at West. Wait, let's remove this one. Okay. So, ew. East African trypanosomiasis. Trypanosomiasis. Rhodesiense. Okay. So, si Gambiense naman, West African trypanosomiasis. Trypanosomiasis. Okay. Ew. Rudy bought gum at West. Okay. So, E, East African Rhodesiense. Uh, gum, G, Gambiense sa West African. Okay? West African Sleeping Sickness. 
Okay? So, I hope that helps. So, for the life cycle, this one, um, ito, they do not defecate. Okay? They do not defecate in the area of the puncture site or near the puncture site. Instead, okay, Checha fly takes a blood meal, then inject the metacyclic tripomasticote. It is a common, okay, like for plasmodium. So, they inject the infective stage on the puncture site. Okay? Mismong sa puncture site na hindi sila tumatay. Yun yung pagkakaiba nila. May na pagkakaiba nila ni Cruzy. Okay? So, the injected metacyclic tripomasticote will change its form. Okay? Wait lang. Transform into bloodstream, into tripomasticote muna. Sa bloodstream muna siya which are carried into the body site. Tripomastigote multiply by binary fission in various body fluids, so blood, lymph, and the spinal fluid. Okay? So, as you can see here, guys, another difference between the African and the American trypanosomiasis or the bruzy and the cruzy is that for the bruzy, okay, trypanosoma bruzy, it is the tripomastigote that divides. Kasi kay Cruzy, amastigot yung nagdi-divide and nagmumultiply. Kay Bruzy, tripomastigot yung nagdi-divide and nagmumultiply. Okay? And then, circulating tripomastigot in blood during acute phase usually undetected in latent phase. So, cattle and possibly wide um Undulates or reservoir for the Bruzy Rodiacense. Kung sino yung lalaki doon, si Rudy mahilig siya sa mga baka. Okay? So, si Rudy ang mahilig sa baka. So, si Rodiacense, gumagamit siya ng mga cattle, okay? And even primates as reservoir. Okay? So, Checha Fly, dito naman sa African Trypanosomiasis. Checha fly, yung mga vector nila. Okay? So, Checha fly um, takes a blood meal and then they get the tripomastigote. So, tripomastigote are ingested. So, bloodstream tripomastigote transform into procyclic tripomastigote in the vector. Okay? And then, procyclic tripomastigotes leave the midgut and transform into epimastigote. Epimastigote multiply in the salivary gland. They transform to metacyclic tripomastigote and then they are passed to the human when they take a blood, blood meal. Okay? So, much madali yung life cycle ni African trypanosomiasis because it only involves the tripomastigote. Okay? Aside from that, the mode of infection is also common because they, in, uh, they introduce the parasite uh, when they take a blood meal. Okay? Wala nang tae-tae na nangyayari. Host and vector. Humans are considered the main reservoir for trypanosoma bruzy gabete. But this species can also be found in animals, including primates. So, domestic cattle are thought to be the most epidemiologically relevant animal reservoir for rodescence. Vector, glucena species, or their common name that is the checha fly. Okay, cheche kay bruzy, casing bug, tratomin bug kay cruzy. Ay, okay, mali yata yung sinabi ko. Cheche fly or glucen, glucen, glucina species for bruzy, for cruzy naman, casing bug or tratomin bug. Okay, trypanosoma bruzy complex morphology that exists in two interforms, the tripomastigote. That is found the blood, lymph, tissue space of various organs and CNS is a terminal. And when that is already found in the CNS, that is already fatal and that is the terminal stage. Epimastigote that is found in the salivary gland of the vector. Okay? So, tripomastigote. So, spindle shape. They have a central nucleus, free flagellum, and undulating membrane. There are three forms. Long slender form. Short, stumpy form, and the intermediate form. Okay, so, uh, Trypanosoma gambiense that is less plentiful in the smear. As you can see here, there's only one, but for here, mas marami 
Si Rodia Sensei mas marami siyang pinapakitang trypomastigot in the blood relative to the uh, trypanosoma bruisi gambiense. Okay? So, the gambiense, it cannot live in lab animal. Kasi nga, di ba mahilig sa animal si Rodia? Okay? So, it can live in lab animals. It has also animal reservoir. Okay? So, for the, in West Africa, so, again, for West, that is gum at West, so gambiense. So, their vector, that is the Glucina palpalis, and the, in, as in East Africa, that is the Glucina morsitans. So, uh, huh, no animal reserva for gambiense, with animal reserva si Rodias sense. Epimastigot sa vector, tripomastigot sa human. Clinical presentation infection occurs in two stages, which may sometimes be preceded by the development of trypanosomal canker, chanker, on the site of inoculation within days of being bitten by an infected fly. First stage disease, hemol lymphatic, involves non-specific signs and symptoms. Like intermittent fever, pruritus, 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 and lymphadenopathy, enlargement of the limbs. Posterior triangle, triangle cervical lymphadenopathy or winter bottom signs commonly seen in Gambiense infection. But lymphadenopathy can also be seen in axillary, inguinal, and epitrochlear region. So there are enlarged lymph nodes because yun nga, lymphadenopathy. Okay? So, winter bottom sign. So, this one. Okay, enlargement of limbs. So, on the posterior part of the neck. So, that's the winter bottom sign. Okay? In the second stage, this is meningoencephalitic. There is already the invasion of the CNS. It causes a variety of neuro. Psychiatric manifestation including sleep disorders, hence the common name, African sleeping sickness. Severe cardiac involvement with electrocardiogram abnormalities, abnormalities consistent with perimyocarditis are also observed. Okay, so the course of infection is much more acute and rapid with rhodiasense. Mas mabilis ang manifestation ng symptoms kay rhodiasense relative to gambiense. And both infections are fatal without treatment. So, there is chunker at the site of the, at the bite site, via lymphatics, enlarged lymph nodes, lymphadenopathy, posterior cervical region. Okay, guys, take note of this one. When you say cervical region, it does not always refer to the cervix. Okay? So, ito, sa may, ano to, neck area. So, there is winter bottom sign. We have blood stream, my headache, fluctuating fever, muscle and joint pain, irregular erythematous rash. Okay, my hypoplastic anemia. Okay, hypo. Okay, mababa yung number ng cells. And large liver, that is hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, okay, and generalized weakness. So, invasion of CNS, chronic cases with severe headache, mental apathy, slow speech, deep sleep, and coma and death. Okay, kaya nga siya sleeping sickness because it may lead to coma. Okay? And worse, death. In East African trypanosomiasis, disease runs more uh, rapid and fatal. Mas mabilis. That is caused by trypanosoma brucei rhodiasiense. E or di ba? So, is rhodiasiense. So, that is the trypanosoma chancre. Canker. So, that is an ulcer, winter bottom sign. Okay. So, there is emaciation or body weakness, coma before death. Kaya nga siya tinatawag na sleeping sickness. Progressive disease may lead to the following CNS manifestation, insomnia, wakefulness, mood changes, motor and sensory disorders, convulsions, and epilepsy. So, permanent sleep in the terminal stage, that is already coma, bacterial infection, okay, and death. So, diagnosis for brucey, demonstration of trypanosome sa blood. Okay. So, microscopic examination of thin and thick unstained or stained smears 
um, culture and suitable medium. So that is to find the epimastigo, animal inoculation also. So that ends our discussion for the trypanosomes. So meron pang uh, Leishmania species, okay, and the coccygian parasites, including the uh, what do you call this one, including Balantichum poli, mga yun. Okay, thank you.